Hi! In this tutorial I will show you how to use Resilium built-in sources as vertex shader that control geometry in Unreal Engine. Or more simply, we will create a classic mapping effect. We will also find out how to work with NDI plugin. And also you can recreate shader with Touch Designer. But first I want to give thanks to all patrons for supporting and empowering me to make new videos. Let's start. First of all, we need to prepare the geometry for the shader to work properly. I will do this in Cinema 4D, but you can use any 3D software. Create plane and resize it. As the size is best to use the resolution of your composition in Resolume. We see that polygons are stretched. To create regular squares, set the number of segments equal to the aspect ratio of resolution. Multiplying the number of segments, you can increase the number of polygons, keeping their shape. Make the geometry editable and switch to Edit Polygon mode. Select all polygons, disconnect polygons and uncheck the Preserve Group checkbox. Now with normal scale you can change the size of all polygons. Switch to UV Edit and create new UV mapping. Change projection to cubic. Reset the initial size of polygons. Extrude polygons. I guess we can extrude more. And a little bit more. Use bevel to make the geometry look more interesting. And export it to FBX. Switch to Unreal Engine. We need to receive NDI stream in Unreal Engine and send it back to Resolume. To do this, we activate the NDI plugin. Create blueprint class of type actor and name it NDI. Move it to the level and open graph. Add the NDI broadcast component and create a source. Add NDI receiver and create the source. Create settings for receiver. We will add NDI stream name later. Add a start receiver. Also add start broadcasting. And for correct shutdown of NDI we add event and play. Create logic for turning off NDI components. Now we create texture for receive and center. Import geometry. And remove everything unnecessary from level. Create material where we will create the shader for the geometry. For proper shader performance it's necessary to divide the NDI stream into segments. The U and V parameters are responsible for the number of horizontal and vertical segments. The height parameter is range of segment movement. We will use vector to set the direction of segment's movement. Each color corresponds to its axis color. Connect the shader to the word position offset. In the texture sample select NDI texture. Set the number of segments, which was previously specified in Cinema 4D. And add material to the geometry. Let's add some light, create a skylight. And in CubeMap we load the HDRI map. 
Now let's add an NDI camera. And let's set position of the geometry and the camera. In the NDA camera, select the media center source. Open Resolume, set the size of the composition. In Advanced Output, check that NDI output is selected. Open NDI monitor to see the name of the stream. Then paste it into the NDI blueprint. Press play in editor and go to Resolume. From the source tab add NDI from Unreal Engine. Add lines and see that nothing happens, because now we send the same image from Resolume to Unreal Engine. To fix this we create a group and check that this group is the source of the slice. Everything works, but let's make a few changes. First. Let's flip the geometry to repeat the direction of lines. Also change axis on which the geometry segments will move. Now it's look better. Let's add some improvements. Create a directional light and adjust its position. Also rotate the cube map. And increase the range in the height parameter. Now we can start to play with the resolume sources. For better effect, it's better to use the only black and white color. And in some cases you can turn off the alpha channel. This was simple example of creating vertex shader in Unreal Engine and Resolume. If video was useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to channel. Thanks for watching.